the Patreon pick this week, as requested by Lava Skin, was the 2020 film The Island of Giant Insects, which of course is a fantastic movie. This is an adaptation of a manga by the same name, where we have a bunch of high schoolers that are stranded in an airplane crash on an island that has giant insects on it, and they try to survive the giant insects, and that's basically it. They get, there's gruesome deaths and no ending. <laughs> Fun <laughs> fact, and I'm really scraping the barrel to get this one. I can imagine. Uh, the voice actor of Ayumi is also the voice of Sakura in the recent Street Fighters. No mm. way. Dude, I love Sakura. She's like one of my mains. Holy cow. Sick. Uh, yeah, this movie is boring and dumb. It's what? not bad enough to be funny, it's not hot enough to be horny, <laughs> and it's not gross enough to be gory. It, like, it just doesn't manage to be entertaining in any way a film can be entertaining. <laughs> yeah, and, like, on top of that, Jackson said this was the uncensored version, but, like, a majority of it, a majority of it was still pretty fucking censored, so... And I, I remember saying this before we even watched the film, like, I don't know, like, I guess my morbid human curiosity was, like, wanting to know what the manga was, and I was I was hoping that the movie would, I mean, I guess the movie kind of hinted towards it, but yeah, I, like, agree with Tanner, like, it, it went so far as to go for the idea, but, like, it never, it felt like it never committed to anything, and it, yeah, without it having, like, an ending... And it just was so drawn out, and, like, it felt pretty uneventful for the most part. And then there was just a bunch of deaths, and, like, none of the characters meant anything. It, it was just, like, a whole lot of nothing. Um, and, it, it, like, the animation, and I, I realize now looking back on it, because you guys thought I was crazy. Um, the animation was, like, not even, it, it was like watching a regular anime, and there were even, like, breaks in between. Like, it was supposed really to be split A really low-budget anime. Yeah, <laughs> so, I don't know, this movie just, like I like Tanner said, this movie doesn't excel very much in any area whatsoever. And it wasn't even entertaining at all, so, it's kind of like, why did I watch this? Yeah, I can, I think the idea behind them getting stranded on an island with a bunch of bug things and trying to use the knowledge they have of how the bugs work as like a setting is kind of cool, but that's literally the only thing this movie has going for it. The main character exposition dumping on the intricacies of these bugs all the time is so fucking boring. The character is constantly trying to sabotage themselves by getting rid of her for no reason is dumb as fuck. All the characters are retarded. Um, there's a bunch of like dynamics that are introduced in this film that just go nowhere too because it doesn't have an ending this is straight up just like half the story i guess they're planning on having a part two or something that's probably never going to happen yeah. in four years and uh because of that there's just a lot of pointless bullshit that's completely stupid throughout this film um yeah also of course yeah it's very poorly animated there's a ton of really bad cg uh, i have <laughs> yeah. basically nothing positive to say about this I guess I have a bonus fun fact here real quick for us. So, as we know, in the film, there's a point where one of the characters is, like, walking around the hospital, and he opens up a big old door with, like, some droopy shit going on, and he screams. He's so oh, terrified. Yeah. And we think, oh, what the fuck is going to happen there? What, what's up with that? And he just appears later, and it's like, no big deal, whatever the fuck. We never find out what's behind that door. But, apparently in the manga, they do show us what happens behind there. Can I guess? And, Can I guess if I remember it correctly? Yeah, 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 go for it. Is it really polies? No, it's not. Damn it. I do remember those popping up at some point, though, when it was going on. Yeah, I mean, you know, maybe they were like... I, I do think there are, like, some other bugs that attack the hospital. But uh, what's behind that door is apparently a bunch of, like, fucking bugs that are being, like, dissected in, like, various stages of, like, growth or whatever. Uh, to imply that, like, oh, this is, like, a research facility where, like, maybe they were, like, starting to grow the bugs or, like, testing on them and shit like that. Uh, that's all that's back there. There's just a bunch of dead bugs being experimented on. I'm glad yeah. that they just cut out lore from the movie that was already <laughs> barren of any explanations. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess that's one thing I also was going to say is, like, this movie also likes to, like, reach towards, like, a plot point, but then doesn't, like I said, doesn't commit and then pulls away from it. And that scene is one of them where it's like, okay, and... And they do that multiple times in this movie. Um, there's, like, the part in the beginning where they go to the bee house and there's definitely people in there they could save. They just choose not to. Um, and then on top of that, um, wow, I totally lost 
my main point I was gonna bring up, the reason I was bringing this up in the first- Oh, the fucking trope in horror survival movies, where, and like, I- maybe- maybe it is co more common than I think it is, but where, like, the survivors are intentionally trying to fuck each other over all the goddamn time. Like, that was the one thing that kept happening in this movie, is everybody was like, yeah, fuck this other person, or fuck these other people, we have to survive. When clearly it was very easy for them to all survive at the same time, and it actually was, like, more work for them to have to go out of their way to screw the other people, uh, because they didn't like them or whatever. So I just thought that was extremely dumb. I hate that trope in all horror movies. Why are you trying to, you know, like the guy, the football guy in the beginning of the movie said, there's strength in numbers. Why the fuck are you trying to reduce the, your party size? Like, it's just it's super stupid. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. This is like something that you see in a lot of these sorts of things where it's like, oh, a group of survivors, like even in like reality TV shows like Survivor or whatever the fuck, where, or like, you know, a total drama, you know, you gotta have like, you know, the, the mean girl, some character who's there to like stir shit up, you know, to yeah. create like some sort of like interpersonal drama uh, to like, you know, uh, generate something that's a bit more interesting for like the characters. Cause like, you know, if they're all just banding together trying to survive, people may not like it quite as much. Uh, the problem is that like she's incredibly blatant in stupid about it in this film so it just doesn't come off as believable whatsoever when she's doing shit like hey uh, i want to just like leave these people behind even though they obviously have enough time to survive i'm just gonna let them die anyway because i hate them that girl likes bugs uh hey jock guy do you want to rape this girl for me real quick here yeah that part was <laughs> yeah that part was a bit if. Right. i mean even even then with that explanation in, in shows like survival or in, you know in the cases of like fake stuff for it's total drama as well it makes sense where they like divide but specifically in this kind of thing where there's already a predetermined threat and that threat is very capable of killing anybody at any given moment in the movie it makes even less sense so like i get mm -hmm. the trope in other contexts but especially in this context and the way you just explained it no sense at all yeah correct me if i'm wrong but after those first two people that get killed by the butterflies, none of our main cast gets killed? They just keep wandering upon other people that are still alive and they just die in front of them? Yeah, that I think sounds so. right. Isn't that horrifically lame? Yes. Yeah, because there was that yeah. part when they were in the forest where they were being attacked by, like, mites or ticks or something like that, like wood yeah. ticks. I for sure thought somebody was gonna die there, like, the pink-haired girl. Um, and, oh, that's the other thing, is, like, they, they try to make it, like, such a big deal, like, all these other students were dying. It's like, I don't give a shit. Like, these characters mean nothing. You're trying to make me yeah. care about characters I don't care about. Yeah, I met this person five seconds ago, and they immediately died, like... Don, I'm, I really appreciate this character development, by the way. In previous films, you said that, I, well, why do I need to, like, you know, get to know these characters? They're like people. Of course, I just inherently want to see them live and survive. I'm glad you now want to actually get to know these characters and to have a reason to care about them. I actually He's didn't even growing. realize that till just now. Holy shit. <laughs> he did it. I'm evolving and I don't even know it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> don't worry. We see it and we appreciate it, though. Yeah, let's go. Anyway. You guys remember the scene where the girl is walking down a hallway for five minutes? Oh that shit was oh, yeah. fucking so hilarious. Awkward. That was the best part of the movie. Usually in like anime, that's the part where you hear the protagonist's thoughts, but we just didn't. So it's her walking down a hallway with her self-doubts. And all we see is her like physical reactions, but we don't hear what's going on in her mind, which makes it even more boring. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of whatever. I don't know. It's it's that funny whole, that the this whole chasing that happened after is completely retarded too. Yeah, it's like the unrealistic. fucking bug is super fucking fast, and he, she's just outrunning <laughs> it somehow constantly and bobbing and weaving with superhuman confidence. Yeah, I was gonna. Yeah, this this movie's so fucking whatever, dude. I, I think it's funny this movie invokes so much conversation, but it's not because it was a good movie. It's just because we we. There's no way we watched two movies that are just bad back to back, but you know we're just hitting that season again, I guess. Yeah. I love the uh, the part of the movie where they're all just naked in that <laughs> lake or something on the island for no the reason except cove. for just to sh see some boobs. Yeah, <laughs> and they weren't even that good looking either. Yeah, this is low budget. These are some bad looking tits, to be honest. Listen, dude, we saw a blossoming lesbian relationship where the the team captain was supposed to keep the one. We saw like two blossoming lesbian relationships, and then a hetero one where they just fuck. Yeah, we didn't even see that one. We heard it for like five seconds. You, it implied it. 
We're about to see another one, damn it, and then they cut it away with some bonking. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, anyway, um, Dylan, do you want to kick off the rating here? F plus. F plus? Dude, I'll just give it a straight F, I think. There you go. Yeah, I'm right there with you, Nico. This is just a straight F for me. I was right there with Dylan. I gave it an F plus. There we All go. All seems right to me. And unsurprisingly, that puts it at F plus overall. Holy cow.